Good morning. Some coffee. And there's the Crown Vic. But this is another blue car video. Figured I'd do an update. Let's pop the hood. Hey, progress. It's starting to look like an engine again. Not quite sure where to start, so we'll start over here. Turbocharger's on. Hot side is complete. All tight all the way around. Um, we've got both of the wastegates on down there. Let's see them. Used uh, some DOT push lock airlines for all my wastegate and my blow off valve fittings, which I think is a nice little thing. Um, in my last video, I showed you guys the breather adapters. So we've got AN hose, it's dash 10 over to a single breather. I'm not gonna lie. I'm a little bit nervous about that not being enough breather. I might put a second one of these on the other side of the engine and split it, have two breathers. Our Edelbrock fuel sump is in, low pressure line is hooked up and it is uh, wired, batteries in there, secondary fuel filter, etc. Um, up front, you can kind of see it through the grill there, the coolant package is in, um, the after cooler and the radiator and all of that down there there's a transmission oil cooler in between the after cooler and the radiator and most of the wiring is done too on the car which is pretty nice walk you guys inside and show you what we got going on inside so you see that little black box underneath my radio that's my ECM that's mounted and then you really can't see it which is the whole point all the wiring relays fuses etc are tucked up underneath the radio there sort of in the location of that oil pressure gauge which leaves me with a nice clean factory dashboard as I mentioned earlier um, this ECM outputs over Bluetooth to a tablet so I will either mount that on the steering column or maybe up there on the dash and my last thing that I need to do is back here, I pushed the car around the other day out of the driveway. Um, and when I moved the car back into its spot, I noticed uh, some gear oil running down the inside of this wheel. You probably can't see it. Maybe you can. Oh yeah, you can see it in there. That wheel seal is leaking. And it has soaked the brakes down with gear oil. So I've ordered two wheel seals. I'm going to do both of them since, you know, you have to take the uh, axles out and cover off of the uh, um, center section of the differential. So I'll go ahead and do two new wheel seals and all new brakes around. On the back at least. The front brakes are still pretty good. And that really sums it up on this car for right now. I'm going to go back inside and drink the rest of my coffee. See you guys later.